it's time to eat the magic. Everyone, welcome to the downtown Disney area. Things have started opening up again, which is great. More things will be opening up as the weeks pass, but for the time being, we really want to check out what is opening up this week and what is available. In addition to that, there are a few Valentine's themed treats, so of course I got to try those out. And we're back in the downtown Disney area. It's at 25% capacity, and things only recently reopened, but there's Quite a bit of life going on here. People walking around, grabbing some food, and having a good time. Let's see what we can find. All right, so while we have no news on what's going to become of Wonderground, what we do have news of is that the Rainforest Cafe is going to be transformed into the Lost Rainforest Cafe Jedi Temple. Yeah, this has become the new trading post for uh, Star Wars-y stuff, so if you still need more child merch or child merch, this will be the place to go when it gets opened probably pretty soon. Personally, I would rather see it replaced with Jock's Hanger because I could use a good drink. Look at me, I'm a tiny dog. So these actually originated in Japan. They're essentially kind of designed to be little park buddies where you would get your standard guy and then you'd grab a clothing variation for them and you could carry them around with you and have fun times. They're very cute and they're posable too because they're actually little wires that they're wire posable. That's, that's nice. I'm glad they have some of the popular characters here but where's Jill Tony? I heart my Disney cat. That's really good. I, I have mighty needs for this dress. It has all the cats in it. Including what is it going to fix? Oh, it's uh, for adults too. It has my favorite evil cat and my favorite tuxedo cat. Maria, she's chasing after an ice cream dealie. Dinah! She's about to kill a mouse. I know someone who could wear that. Well, here on DCA is pretty easy, not that crowded. However, Dining will be opening up this weekend. I'm expecting DCA to get a lot more people when that happens. But for now, it's a nice little walk and it's kind of relaxing. And you can even sneak a peek at the Avengers campus if you're tall enough. So we stopped by and grabbed the Valentine's Churro from California Churros. Looks pretty good. And we actually grabbed the Valentine's Special from Kayla's Cakes. It is a bunch of macaroon rods. So those should hopefully be tasty too. We are going to review them back at home where you can actually see us eat. So we'll see you in just a moment. So we have the Valentine's churro. We took them home. So <clears throat> they actually give it to us in this nice little box, which is helpful. It's covered in goop. Strawberry goop. Out. Hands are getting a messy. Not pulling the plant. Oh, it's bent. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Uh -huh. It's a nice strawberry chocolate sauce. It's very rich. Um, <clears throat> it does have the like sugar sprinkles on there as well. So it's a, uh, it's pretty good. I'm sorry, this is just like a, a lot to take in. Sauce itself. Hmm. 
Is it nice? You could have your chocolate and you have your strawberry on it. It's a nice, nice mixture of sauces. Mm. Churro itself is a standard churro, so it is more or less covered in the goo. Oh, there it goes. Got them separated properly. Let's so we'll take kind of a look there. There's a lot of sugar, a lot of, a lot of sauce all over this. It's really good. I like the chocolate strawberry combination. Um, works well with the churro. <clears throat> it's nice, and because you can split it into two, you can share it with a friend or, you know, a significant other. Assuming they like churros, chocolate, and strawberry. It is very rich, so I wouldn't recommend eating both, both halves in one sitting, but to each their own. And I don't really consider this like a dipping churro, because it's covered in the sauce, so it doesn't get the minus points that dipping churros usually get from me. Overall, I really like it. It's nice. It's tasty. And like I said, easily shared because they kind of divide it in two, sort of. Um, you got to kind of break it a little bit, but still at least right in half like that. Nice for two people to share on a nice, happy Valentine's adventure. All right, it's time for macaroon rons. Uh, one of the things I'm going to bring up is that this actually has a nice little packaging of the little, you know, pink box. It comes with six different flavors, and one of each. So I'm going to probably not go through all of them because I'm not going to eat six right in a row here, but I'll, I'll try a couple to see how they are. I'm going to begin with this one because I think this is the chocolate. Uh, no, it is not. What is this? It is the, let's see here, we also have a guide here. It's a sea salt caramel. Ooh! Caramel. I do like sea salt caramel. Let's give it a try. Mmm! That is quite good. And the nice part is, unlike regular caramel, it's not like really sticky so it you know, gums up your mouth or anything. Then I'll try this one, I guess, which is probably a fruit flavor of some sort. Let's see, it has a pink filling in it. Mm -hmm. So I want to say, yes, that is the raspberry one. So let me just get a shot of the raspberry. Yes. Not the biggest fan of raspberry, but let's give it a try. Mmm. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not super tangy like you usually get in fresh berries. You get the flavor without the major tanginess to it. It's very sweet and generally good. So this one's the rose champagne, kind of a more unique flavor option. But I want to point out the shape. I haven't done that yet. Really should have done that. They are large shapes, which is cute. It actually smells like champagne, which is kind of interesting. Let's give this a quick little bite. Yeah, that, that kind of tastes like champagne. That's a little weird. <laughs> it kind of clashes with the cookie a little bit, but oh, half a heart. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure on that one. That one would have to be someone to... It's definitely different. Uh, but the first two flavors I had, I actually really, really liked. 
The nice part about this is it comes with six flavors. They're all different and they're mostly unique here. I mean, some of the ones we didn't have in here include Dragon Fruit and um, Earl Grey. So definitely not your normal kind of flavors you would find in you know, your standard set. Comes in the gift box, which is really nice. The only thing I'm going to say here is that these do, you know, these were cold when we got them. They're, they're still cold because it's not like that much time has passed. And if you're going to grab these for a significant other for Valentine's Day, I'd recommend probably keeping them in the fridge or something before handing it to them on Valentine's Day itself. I think it would work as long as you have someone who loves sugary treats. Um, again, the flavors are such a mix that at the very least they get to try something new. But hopefully one of the two flavor, one of the six flavors will be something they'll really enjoy. Like I said, the raspberry is, is really sweet and not a normal tangy raspberry. Um, and, you know, I'm sure the Earl Grey is going to be really interesting of a flavor. You know, dragon fruit is, is an interesting uh, option as well. And overall, you really get this kind of fun combination of things. Like I said, just to show you again. Oh, this one is not heart-shaped. I thought they were all heart-shaped. Was it just that champagne one? Mm-hmm. It's just the champagne one. That's, uh, all right. Oh, this one's kind of crumbled a little bit. But they come in the nice little box, so they shouldn't get messed up as ours. Of course, we were picking through them to figure out which ones to have. And it would work as a nice little surprise treat for someone. Like I said, just to make sure you keep it refrigerated so you don't, you know, have them go bad before the time is to offer them as a gift. Unless you grab them on the 13th, then or the 14th itself, then I guess it's not that big a deal. But the heart one's really cute, and I love the fact that the champagne one's a heart one. It's kind of odd and different. You definitely have to try it for yourself. Um, I don't know if I would go and buy a box of the champagne flavor, <laughs> but I really did like uh, the two that I ate before that, and I'm sure I'll enjoy eating the rest of these later on. And while we were at the World of Disney Store, we got the annual pass magnets. In fact, if you are an annual pass holder, a legacy pass holder, you can look up to see the dates. You can get a 30% discount Monday through Thursday at Downtown Disney, which is a great way to save some money on some food and some merch. So definitely take advantage of that if you have the opportunity. Hey, thanks for watching. Even though the theme parks might be closed right now, we're doing our best to bring you as much content as we can. And while we do that, please like and subscribe and check out the links in our description for our Ko-Fi and Patreon, because that's what helps keep the show going. And until next time, remember, whether you're at the theme park or at home, eat the magic.